What's going on guys, this is Mr. DeLorean here, welcome back to a brand new video, and today what I'm going to do is discuss a theory that I developed on how Alpha will die, when she will die, and where she will die in this TV show. So first what we're going to do is break down like all, you know, the evidence and everything leading up to the theory, and then we're going to, you know, explain the theory. So we do all know in the comics and everything, after Negan, you know, is about to save a girl, after he does save a girl from being raped inside the Whisperer camp, he is pretty much banished from the Whisperer camp, pretty much meaning he has to sleep as far as possible away from the Whisperer camp, and he pretty much, you know, is like all these fucking weirdos and everything. Thing. And while that's all funny and everything, Alpha, while Yegan is kind of, you know, just out, like, very far from the Whisperer camp, and is, you know, just kind of just sleeping away, Alpha just goes and, you know, just goes out as far as possible to meet Negan and everything from the, like, as far as possible anything from the Whisperer camp to meet Negan and kind of just talk to him. And as you guys know, as you guys do know and everything, if you guys did, read, like, read the comics or whatever, they kind of have been, like, an emotional moment where Negan questions Alpha's power and I think saying, you gotta, like, you know, put your foot down, you have to be stronger, or, you know, this is gonna all fall. And he kind of, you know, judges her ways of, you know, how she handles the Whisperer thing, saying, like, oh, it's should change and everything because it's just not civilized. But then, you know, they get emotional and everything. Negan breaks up Lucille and everything. Alpha kind of breaks down and finally just, like, snaps. And then that's obviously when Negan, you know, cuts, like, you know, Alpha's throat and everything and slits her throat and everything. And that's pretty much her death and he decapitates her. But in the show, I feel like this will go the exact same way, though. Now let's start to get in, like, you know, like, into the theory. So I feel this will go down the exact same way. You know, Negan will go away from the Whisper or, like, be banished from the Whisper camp or whatever after, you know, like, attempting to save someone, or, you know, he'll do something to get banished away. Well, I feel he'll do something to get banished away, or he'll just be far away from the Whisper Camp, something that involves him being far from the Whisper Camp at night. But he'll be farther from the Whisper Camp and everything, and I did want to bring up something from episode 2 that does aid this theory. So, if, from the episode 2 of the season 10 of The Walking Dead, one of, like, mainly focused on the Whispers and everything, near the end of the episode, while Beta and Alpha were kind of having a bit of, like, I guess one of their disagreements or arguments, after it did cool down, Alpha, like, I think Beta brought up to Alpha saying that you do go away from the whisper camps at night and everything and you like you know you pretty much just go away and everything you're away from everyone at night and then alpha just goes you know and kind of just like calms beta down going nope i'm always like you know here and everything i'm here but i feel like that sentence that beta brought up or anything that you know alpha goes away from the whisper camp at night and everything and is always like gone from everyone uh, gone separate from everyone i feel like that's how alpha will be taken out and killed and it's like actually the fact that beta did even bring that up and the fact that that was a line in the show i I feel like that is a bit of foreshadowing. Like, I feel like that line wasn't in there for no reason. How he's like, you always go away from the Whisperer camp at night. I feel like that does, like, will mean something for, like, you know, the future. And I feel this will happen for Alpha's death in the show and everything is yet again, she'll go out, you know, during the night, anything from the Whisperer camp to meet Negan or just by herself. And, you know, Negan will kill her either in a surprise or while they're talking. Either way, I do feel like it will be very, very similar to, like, you know, her death in the comics. Also, I did completely forget to mention this, but I do feel like this death death will happen in the mid-season finale, mainly because it's also one, it's a very mid-season finale type thing to do, especially since, you know, it's a big, like, cliffhanger to get everyone excited for what's gonna happen, you know, in the second half of the season. Also, a lot of people have been claiming that it will be happening in the mid-season finale, which I do believe that, because yet, like I just said, it's a mid, very mid-season finale type thing to do. But yeah, that was the theory that I stated for how, when, and where Alpha will die in the Whisper, like, you know, arc in the show, or season end of season 10. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to like comment and subscribe what you guys do think of this theory do you guys think it will happen do you think guys think it will happen in this way what would you guys what would you guys change about this theory or anything what would you like kind of mangle around to like make it like you know better and yeah make sure to like comment subscribe for more walking dead content and yep i'll see you guys later peace my muse and peace out